Okay. Time to leave the science team. Safety. We gotta fix our... our gun. Okay. She's just... going our own way now. Hello? I am Dr. Madison Lee. I have people with me in need of shelter. You must allow us access at once. I'm sorry, ma'am. No unauthorized civilians. Ryan! I know you're in there. I know you can hear me. You open this goddamn door right now! That was easy. She's just gonna walk in. Hey. Paladin Bale's like, oh. Okay. <laughs> you think she'd be like running the way she was yelling, but she's just walking. Quest completed the waters of life. Picking up the trail. Now they're running. <laughs> Wait, she's gone. Madison, I'm surprised to see you here. What can I do for you? Don't talk down to me, Lions. I had nowhere else to turn. You must help us. Project Purity has been overrun. Yes, I'd heard reports of an incident there. What details can you give us? The Enclave. They've attacked Project Purity. James is dead. There may be more. I don't know. You have to do something. Then it's as we feared. Madison, I'm sorry this happened. I wish we could have done something. Then do something now. They've taken over the Purifier. Lions, they cannot be permitted to have control over it. It's not right. No, no, no. Calm down. You know as well as I do that the purifier doesn't work. It's useless to them. Perhaps it's time to walk away. That's not true. James, he found what's been missing. We know how to get it running. Is that so? Does the Enclave know this? No, I don't think... I don't know. I, d I just don't know what's happening anymore. All right, Madison, it'll be okay. Now, this is James's son, I presume? I can see the resemblance. Yes. He knows what we need. Vault Tech computer, something to locate equipment. Please help him. Very well, we'll sort this all out. Hail. Hi. I need to rest, lie down, or something. This is just too much. Rothschild should help you, but don't forget that he's Brotherhood. I've never trusted them. Be careful what you tell them. Hey, -o. welcome. Hello. Uh, ask Scribe Rothschild for pre war computer access. Rapid firing that. 10 millimeter pistol. I have a hundred small guns and I can't even do that. I like when they told me the part who Rothschild is. Lab. Door to Citadel Laboratory. Oh, we're in the Citadel? So that means we can get the energy weapons bubblehead. I think. Or is that in Raven Rock? There's Liberty Prime. How much do I weigh? Oh my goodness. Why do I weigh so much? Oh yeah, because we have a bunch of armor on us.
Citadel Lab Terminal. Who's this first? Outsiders in the Citadel. Such a pleasure. May I start by saying that I am sorry for your loss. I was acquainted with your father many years ago. The world has lost one of its few remaining visionaries. How did you know my father? I have been a part of the Brotherhood for many years. Enough that I was here when Project Purity first began. I did not work directly with your father. He and his team valued their independence, and I respected that. Thanks for your symphony. <laughs> Thanks for your sympathy. Think nothing of it. Now, Dr. Lee has explained your predicament. You need to locate some vault tech equipment. I need to find a geck. Are you quite sure? I suspect that would be a waste of time. Regardless, the Brotherhood is not in possession of such a device. There is, however, a way in which we may be able to ascertain the location of one. So you know how to find one? Possibly. I'm afraid I won't be able to assist you directly. The news Dr. Lee has brought will require me to be elsewhere. I can, however, give you access to an old pre-war computer from vault Tech. It may have the information you need. You'll find the terminal in the archives in the A-Ring. Why did his voice change? Thanks for the help. You are welcome. If you require further assistance, I may be able to help. Thank you, Scribe Rothschild. These people just follow. Hey, uh. Should I talk to this guy? You have my condolences. Your father was a good man. Uh, I found a Brotherhood holotag. What should I do with it? Talk to Scribe Jameson. She is our keeper of the scrolls. She will want to know what you have found. Where can I find Scribe Jameson? She spends most of her time in the archives. You'll find them in A-Ring, near the Great Hall. Can you tell me about the outcasts? The outcasts are a result of my greatest mistake. But a mistake I'm proud of, nonetheless. When I came here, I realized for the first time that the Brotherhood's technology could truly save the survivors in this wasteland. I chose to help them, even if it meant putting the Brotherhood's interests at risk. Some of my soldiers called me a hero. Others called me a traitor. The dissenters left my command, calling themselves outcasts to mock me i cannot fault their dedication even if i find them lacking in compassion i thought the protection of humanity was a part of the brotherhood's oaths only in a very broad sense the Brotherhood's oaths are to protect humanity's progress, but not necessarily every human. The outcasts and members of the Brotherhood in other places consider it a waste to protect most people. After all, they say, everyone knows how to make another human, but the secrets to making a P-94 plasma rifle are all but lost. How do your remaining soldiers feel about the outcasts? Even now, a year after they left, the wounds of their departure are still sore. Some of my soldiers are angry about it. They see it as an insult to me. Bless them for their loyalty. They're more angry about it than I ever was. Others understand their decision. Sometimes I hear them wondering if they should have gone with them. I can't blame them, but I stand by my decision, and I respect theirs. Has your decision been worth it? 
Has it been worth the cost in lives and resources to protect people like you from the super mutants? You tell me. I suspect my daughter's squad helped save your life, and most of our recent recruits have come from those we've saved over the years. It's cost us, but we've saved many lives, and made the capital wasteland a place where people can live. Yes, I'd say that's been worth it. That's enough about the outcast. Yes, let's speak of other things. I wanna... The outcasts are a result of my greatest mistake, but a mistake I'm proud of nonetheless. When I came here, I realized for the first time that the Brotherhood's technology could truly save the survivors in this wasteland. I chose to help them, even if it meant putting the Brotherhood's interests at risk. Some of my soldiers called me a hero. Yeah. So, he's... So he helped save people? Is that what he's saying? I don't know. I think that's pretty much what he's saying. So, the outcasts are mad at him because he went against the outca or the brotherhood's protocol. He tried he used he used the brotherhood's manpower to help save people instead of just collecting technology. And they're mad at him for that. I think that's what I'm getting from it. What do you know about the Enclave? More than anyone else, I dare say. Certainly enough to know they're the greatest threat the Capital Wasteland has ever faced. The Brotherhood of Steel has encountered the Enclave before, you see. Over 30 years ago, back in California. Then they were led by a President Richardson. Now we've got this Eden to contend with. It matters not now. As before, they seek to control and destroy, all in the guise of restoring order. Your father, I fear, was just the beginning. Hmm. I'd like to know more about the Brotherhood of Steel. The Brotherhood is an old organization going back to the years just after the war. We are but a part of it. What would you like to know? If you're just a part of the Brotherhood, where's the rest of it? The Brotherhood began on the West Coast, and exists there still. We were dispatched to this location many years ago. Yes, In truth, please. the Brotherhood of Steel has been struggling for years, both here and back home. Honor, truth, courage. These virtues seem to have little meaning in these troubled times, I'm afraid. Why are you here in the Capital Wasteland? Ah, no. That's the real question, isn't it? Our orders were, and are, to acquire any and all advanced technology. And we have, to the best of our abilities. But when I realized the extent of the super mutant threat, I felt it was my responsibility to aid the people in their struggle against them. Unfortunately, my superiors back west disagree with my assessment of the situation. They feel I've grown too attached to the local populace. And they're right. In any event, the Enclave's arrival changes everything. Yeah, so what I was thinking is correct. The outcasts are mad at him for helping the people of the Capital Wasteland. That just sounds annoying. So, really, when they treat you like a dickhead, they really are just dickheads. That's the outcast. <laughs> How long have you been here? It's been over 20 years since we arrived, and we've been struggling to contain and eradicate the super mutants for nearly as long. With the arrival of the Enclave, I have a terrible feeling the super mutants are the least of our worries. That's all I wanted to know. So be it. 
Uh, I already said that. Anything you can tell me about the super mutants? Would you believe? No, it's pathetic, really, considering we've been fighting those abominations for nearly twenty years. In all that time, all we've managed to do is to contain the threat, hold them back, so they don't overrun every blasted settlement out here. But we don't really know anything. Where they're from, why they've infested the DC ruins. And now here we are, holed up in our citadel. Low on resources, low on troops. It's enough to make an old man so very tired. So what's the deal with the robot? Ah, yes. Everyone asks about the robot. Hard not to, I admit. His name is Liberty Prime. Very patriotic. Built by a very proud nation during a very desperate time. We've had about as much success getting him working as they did. You should speak with Scribe Rothschild. He can tell you more. I have to go now. Of course. I'm afraid I have other duties to attend to right now. If you find the computer to be helpful, there may be more I can offer. I'd like to know more about the Brotherhood of Steel. I'm afraid you're asking the wrong person. I'd like to hear what you have to say anyway. If you insist, what do you want to know? Why are you here in the capital wasteland? Well, that depends on who you ask. Lions will tell you it's because we're protecting the poor, innocent people of the capital wasteland. Most others here will tell you the same thing. They'll do anything for that man. But not everyone agrees? No, not everyone. But for a variety of reasons, those who disagree are no longer with us. Care to share anything about the super mutants? Not really. No. <laughs> Are you in charge of the uh, robot? I am, and have been since we first found him well over 20 years ago. Liberty Prime is the designation we found on file for him. Magnificent, don't you think? At least he will be once all systems are operational. It's the energy consumption. Something that big with such advanced weapon systems. Uh, we just don't have the means to power him. Not yet. Why are you doing that face? Fool. Who built Liberty Prime, or better yet, why? He was developed as a super weapon back in the days before the war. The first joint operation between Robco and General Atomics International. Apparently, he was meant to help liberate Alaska from the Chinese, but was never completed. They were forced to go in without him. They won, but suffered heavy losses. If we can get him up and running well, I think you get the idea. I'd like to know more about the Brotherhood of Steel. What do you want to know? How long have you been here? We arrived here in 55, established ourselves in the Citadel within the first few months. The Elder has kept us busy since then. I have to go now. Don't hurry back. Oh, okay. I guess he doesn't like me. You honor us with your presence here. Thank you. Um. So Jameson. We don't have any, uh, what are they called on us? Holotags. Let's go pick, take them. We're actually really close to him. Vault 101 emergency frequency signal found. Already? I thought it said 14 days after. Oh, 
I don't even know if I read that on camera or not. I, I read something that, uh, what is it? Trouble on the home front happens 14 days after Waters of Life. The Waters of Life is complete, but it hasn't been 14 days. So. Um, I had a hair on my nose. Why did I come down here with the... The... Power armor is supposed to be in here. The eyeball helmet. All this is special stuff. Uh, that goes in here. That goes in there. And that goes in there. I actually have a skill book. I'm doing this ass backward. stuff in my miscellaneous. Oh, I missed these two. I don't even remember picking up noodles. Oh yeah, I do. Never mind. It was on that sandbag. In, uh, the water place. Where the project purity is. Okay, so, last thing. FOV. You can just tell whenever you're in first person. Hail. Hello. Okay, well, Jameson is in the archives. So there's a ring. Oh, a ring. Not the ring, it's the A ring. Is this the B ring? Nope, that is also the A ring. It's up here. Just you, just chillin'. You guys aren't even really hitting each other at all. Lab. Oh. Are the archives in the lab? are in the A ring. I guess we'll see. I'm 
Citadel A ring. Steel initiate. Do they not trust him with the Vargas? Glade? Need something Kodiak friend. pancakes? Need something, friend? Artemis? Hail. Hail. Need something, friend? Sentinel Alliance. What was the result Dusk. of the Wait. Gallows humor. Yes? You don't say much, do you? No, I don't. What do you want? So, any thoughts on the Enclave? They're men. They're born, they live, they die. End of story. <laughs> Care to share anything about the Super Mutants? Shoot them, they die. Stab them, they die. Strangle them, they die. What can you tell me about Lion's Bride? Sarah appreciates my methods. I fill a role no one else can. So what's your specialty in the Lion's Bride? Spec Ops. Let's leave it at that. I have to go now. Who are soldier? Stay safe once again. What? Hail to you, stranger. I am Knight Captain Dusk, in service of Steel. If you require anything, simply ask. So what's your story? My story? I blow the head off anything more than 200 meters downrange. I'm the best shot in the Brotherhood of Steel, bar none. Not even Colvin can match my kill count. That's my story. You mean you were the best shot? I'm here now. Hey, wasteland humor. I like that. Got any more, funny man? <laughs> what do you think about Gallows? I don't trust him. I know, I know. I should take faith in my brother. But he disappears for days out into the wastes. He comes back without a word. He only reports to Sentinel Lion. And he doesn't tell the rest of us what he's up to. I can't trust a soldier like that. The other guys, they think it's a joke. Glade's even got a betting pool going to find out Gallo's real name. A betting pool, honestly. So, any thoughts on the Enclave? Honestly, I can't wait to see if one of those helmets can stop a hollow point round at 100 yards. I'm thinking, not. Can you share anything about the Supermunes? I can tell you that those heavily armored ones, the Masters, they favor heavy weapons. Mini guns and missile launchers. My recommendation? Headshot from a distance. Avoid the meat grinder. Can you tell me about the Lion's Pride? We're the most elite tactical unit ever assembled in the Brotherhood of Steel. Here or anywhere else. Hell, ain't nothing Sarah's Cubs can't handle. What do you do here? I'm a sniper with the Pride. Put any muty bastard within one mile of me and my rifle, and, well, pack it up, troops. Fight's over. Colvin thinks he's a better shot. Man's delusional. I have to go now. Move silently. She seems like a red versus blue character. Well, what's your character the others have been I want to talk to this Colvin person. You just managed to get yourself into all sorts of trouble, don't you? Welcome to the Citadel. Not many civilians get to see the place. So, any thoughts on the Enclave? I've read the reports, seen the initial scans, but I can hardly believe it. I figured those radio transmissions were just old recordings. Never figured the Enclave would actually show up, in the flesh. But don't worry. Whatever they try, we'll be ready for it. I'll lead the Pride to knock them out tomorrow, if my father permits it. Care to share anything about the super mutants? You've seen them, so you know what we know. What more is there to say? If we can figure out where they're coming from, we might be able to stop them. If not... What are you going to tell me about the Lion's Pride? It's the best of the Brotherhood, bar none. No one gets in without my say-so. I have to go now. 
Stay strong. I can take your spot. Are you guys gonna follow her or no? Any sugar bombs? Oops. I wonder if my guy is hungry. Deviled eggs. I don't know. They're probably disgusting now, though. Some double eggs and you so need to put it down. B ring. The den. Hey. Kodiak. Hey. Name's Greg. Greg Bear. Most of the guys just call me Kodiak. Heard about that mess over at the purifier. Don't you worry. You're safe here. What's with that gallows guy? Gallows? He's not a bad guy, truth be told. He just doesn't talk much. And if it ain't soldiering, that boy has no time for it. Tell you what, though. He's the meanest son of a bitch around here. All business. The rest of us, we get our R&R &R in. Not gallows. There's even a betting pool on who can find out his real name. Talk to Glade about it. He'll tell you. How did you end up in the Brotherhood? Now that's a story. The only reason I'm here is because of Elder Lions. You see, I grew up in the pit. Don't suppose you ever been there, huh? It's about 500 clicks to the northwest. Place is a nightmare. Three irradiated rivers coming together. People there were... not well. But the Brotherhood of Steel came down on the place with a righteous hammer. They called it the Scourge. I already know what the Scourge is. What was the Scourge? It was a Brotherhood operation. They marched in and swept the place clean. Most of the people there were half-mutated, cancerous, vile things. And these people... rape gangs, torture squads. It was pure chaos there. The Scourge is the best thing that could have happened to it. This was way back, before the Citadel was fortified. Part of the early recon after the Brotherhood first arrived in this area. One night, a squad of brothers led by Paladin Lions swept into the city from over Mount Wash, tearing apart anyone who stood against them. They were completely outnumbered, and still they raised that place to the ground. How did you, or uh, no, what made them so terrible? The rivers, even after the war, they were still flowing, but irradiated and filled with God knows what else. I saw things there I can't even begin to describe. I was only, what, eight years old when I left? Hell of a thing for a kid to go through. How did you escape? As they swept through, the Brotherhood policed up every non muty child they could find. Turns out there weren't that many. Me and maybe 20 others. The younger we were, the less of a chance that we were mutated. It was ugly work, no doubt, but it had to be done. I'll never forget the sight of the Brotherhood of Steel breaching the breast of the mountain at dawn. What happened to the other kids from the pit? All of them became initiates. Most of them went on to become brothers. A lot fell in action. I'm the only survivor of the scourge of the pit still stationed at the Citadel. You're not the only survivor. Oh, the scourge of the pit still stationed at the Citadel. Okay. What happened to your parents? Hell if I know. I never knew them. I lived on the street and fought with rats for food. How did you end up back here? Elder Lyons brought us all back to the Citadel. He said it was the safest place he knew of. This place was still being converted. He put us in as initiates, 
and kept a watchful eye over us. He was tough, but he taught us to stay alive. The man's like a father to me. That's pretty amazing, Kodiak. Nah. The amazing thing is Elder Lions. He risked everything. Went in outmanned and outgunned. I'll never be able to thank him enough. So I do my best to serve the Brotherhood. I know that's what he really wants. In time, I'm sure you'll understand. So any thoughts on the Enclave? There's meat under that armor. And meat can be ground. No period on that sense. Care to share anything about the Super Mutants? Hell, I've killed more of those yellow Frankensteins than any other member of the Pride. Except maybe Gallows. Those crazy solo knight ops of his. <laughs> what can you tell me about the Lion's Pride? I uh, see the Brotherhood's one thing, but the Pride... Best of the best. Every damn one of us. Handpicked by Sentinel Lions herself. What's your comp combat specialization in Lion's Pride? Hell, I do it all. Recon, demolition, tactical assault. Guess you could say I'm the Pride's jack of all trades. I have to go now. Strength and steel, friend. Glad to see you and that egghead Lee made it here in one piece. <laughs> I heard what happened to that purifier. Hell of a thing. I want to talk about Gallus. You figure out his name yet? <laughs> yeah, I had thought not. So any thoughts on the Enclave? Man, I don't know. Fighting uglies is one thing, but we've never gone up against anyone that well trained or organized. Even their tech is better. Don't get me wrong, the pride's in it to win it. And I'll go down shooting if I have to. I just hope I don't have to. Care to share anything about the super mutants? Man, nothing dies like an ugly. I once saw Colvin snipe the leg off one at 200 yards. Thing pirouetted like a figure skater. Who the fuck is Colvin? What can you tell me about Lion's Pride? You, my friend, are talking about the most elite fighting force ever assembled within the Brotherhood of Steel. Each of us was handpicked by Sentinel Lions herself. You can't even realize what an honor that is. Sarah defines combat excellence. So what's your job in the Lions, Pride? Me? Heavy weapons, miniguns, missile launchers. If it's bigger than a human and goes boom, I'm all over it. I have to go now. Back to it. Alright, I gotta find Colvin. Very well, thank you for the update. You so honor us with your presence here. Enclave troops have fortified the purifier complex. We dust gallows. Wirework oh, cakes. It appears that enclave troops have moved beyond the purifier into the surrounding. I don't want to interrupt their conversation. Well, tech terminal. Scribe. Scribe. Scribe Jameson. Hail, outsider. I am Scribe Jameson. Word of your ordeal has spread. I am truly sorry for the loss of your father. But if I can help you in any way, please let me know. I found a Brotherhood holotag. What should I do with it? You have? Oh my. This brings to light a sad affair for the Brotherhood. But perhaps it is something that you can assist us with. If you have the time, I have an offer for you. Sure, I've got all the time in the world. Good. As I'm sure you've noticed, the Brotherhood operates all over the DC ruins, often detached from the main base here at the Citadel. We're short on communication equipment, so many of the groups in the field operate as independent cells, without standing orders. Sometimes, I'm afraid that their missions end in their deaths. As Keeper of the Scrolls, it's my charge to write of each Fallen Brother's deeds. Without radio equipment, you can't track them. Can't keep track of them. 
Exactly. A brother fallen in the field may have no one to carry word of his death back to me. In calmer times, we could send detachments and messengers to learn their fates. But with our manpower stretched thin, we have no such luxury. Which is why I must now ask you for your help. Each brother wears a holotag like the one you found. Should you find any of the fallen brethren in the field, I ask that you return their tags to me, so that I might record their deeds in the scrolls. What are the scrolls that you mentioned? Scrolls are kept by the head librarian of each Brotherhood bunker. The scrolls are a record of the Brotherhood itself. Into each scroll is written the name and deeds of each of our brothers. Battles, what technology is recovered, when he was promoted, everything. The last entry for each brother is that brother's death. It is important, as the way a man dies is just as important as the manner in which he lives. And so, each man who nobly serves the Brotherhood ascends into our history to be remembered by those who come after him. Where can I find holotags? They are on our fallen brothers throughout the DC ruins. However, I can't give you a full report on the locations of all of our operations. As I said, many of the units in the field operate independently, sometimes not reporting into the Citadel for weeks or months. I already know the answer to this question. Why would you ask that? Let's not know. I guess I have to ask this. What's my reward if I bring you these holotags? We have access to a great deal of technology. And because of that, there are a number of things that we can continue to produce. I will be able to offer you caps for the tags you bring me. But from time to time, I will be able to give you something a bit more interesting. I wanted to ask about the holotags. Yes. What about them? I found some holotags. Have you? It saddens me to hear of my fallen brethren, but their names and deeds shall be records. Tell me, how many have you found? Take all the holotags I have. Their names shall be written into the scrolls to be remembered forever. As for you, here is your reward. Use it well and in good health. 1300 bollocks. Just give me money. That was it. I have some questions about the Brotherhood. Ah, one of my favorite subjects, of course. What would you like to know? What does the Brotherhood believe? We believe in technology, in the triumph of the creations of the ancients over the horrors and evils of the wasteland. We believe in trust. Trust in technology. Trust in our fellow brothers trust in our elders. Ah, and we believe in victory. Our forces have dwindled, but still we fight on. Super mutant, enclave, it matters not. Surrender is not an option. Who are the members of the Brotherhood? Elder Lyons leads us. Star Paladin Cross is his seneschal. Sentinel Lyons, the elder's daughter, commands the Lion's pride, our elite combat squad. The Paladins lead the Knights. The Knights are the core of the Brotherhood. They scour the waste to eliminate evil and recover technology. Scribe Rothschild oversees the scribes in their duties to seek knowledge and restore the technology the Brotherhood has acquired. What about the Brotherhood's history in this area? We first arrived in the Capital Wasteland in 2255. In those first couple of years, we discovered the Citadel, Super Mutants, and Project Purity. Ah, the Purifier. What an undertaking! The work your father and his team did was amazing. The Brotherhood helped protect them, you know, at least for a little while. But we were stretched thin as it was, even back then. We had to pull our forces out. When we did, the place was overrun. I imagine that's when your father left. I... I'm sorry. I wish things had turned out differently. That's all I need to know. Very well. Tell me a little bit about the scribes. Well, there are a number of orders within the scribes, each dedicated to a specific area of research. What are the orders? 
The Order of the Sword is responsible for weapons research and development. Guns, ammunition, anything of an offensive nature. Defensive research is done by the Order of the Shield. Power armor, defensive structures, anything that is intended to protect us. The Order of the Quill preserves the written knowledge of the ancients, seeking out all manner of books and holotapes. That's cool. I like how it's set up. What order are you a part of? Probably the Quill. Actually, I am Proctor of the Order of the Quill. I oversee the archives and library here in the Citadel. We are dedicated to preserving the history of the Brotherhood, as well as unearthing the secrets of the pre-war civilizations. We have a single field associate, Scribe Yearly. She operates out of the former Library of Congress to the Northeast. Oh. So she's the boss of the Order of the Quill and the Scribes. So she is Scribe Yearling's boss, pretty much. But Scribe Yearling seems to be the only... Uh, what what she say field scribe? She's the only one, and then she just has a bunch of Brotherhood guys that protect her, I guess. And she's out there because she's in a library, and she's an Order of the Quill, so she's trying to find all the old literature and stuff. That's all I needed. Very well. That's cool. I never knew that. I never like took the time to know learn anything about these these guys. And I, I never knew that the outcasts were annoying. <laughs> oh, uh, for, from this playthrough, I can tell they were annoying. Every time I passed them, they were like dickheads. And I now know that the Brotherhood, this part of the Brotherhood is cool. Because of Elder Lions, that's the only reason why he wants to help the people. Because he has the means to help the people. But not even his bosses like him for helping the people. Or like him helping the people. They don't, they don't want him to do that. They just want him to get in here, get do the job that he was tasked to do, and then get out. And that's pretty much what you're supposed to do in the military, I'm guessing. But he kind of went against that and helped the people of the Waste because... He seems like he's a good person. So. This part of the Brotherhood of Steel is good, but all the other ones are probably orders, orders, orders. And they don't they try not to help anyone. But Paladin Dance, well, I think that's his name, in Fallout 4, I think he's pretty cool. But he is all about his orders, too, so I'm not really sure. So any thoughts on the Enclave? Quite a few. But most are distinctly unladylike and unworthy of discussion. I will tell you that the Brotherhood has encountered the Enclave before, and their motives were just as sinister then as they are now. Care to share anything about the Super Mutants? The Brotherhood has been battling Super Mutants for decades. First out west, then in Chicago, now here. But this group of Super Mutants is different somehow. Physically, yes, but mentally as well. If we knew where they came from, we'd know why. I have to go now. I look forward to our next meeting. Okay, now let's try to look for Colvin, and then we'll talk to Gallus again. Sugar bombs? What aid can Artemis. I offer you, outsider? You must see a lot of things. What's been going on? What's been going on? Well, let's see. For years, we've been draining our resources defending the ungrateful residents of this no-man's land. Most of my best friends have either been ripped apart by super mutants or left to join the outcasts. And now an enemy we faced more than 30 years ago has resurfaced, and their tech is still better than ours. What's been going on with you? <laughs> How cast who are they? I really don't want to go into it. 
Go bug scribe Bowditch. You know what I'm saying? Dog off a meat truck. I have a few questions about the citadel. What do you need to find? Can you describe the layout of the citadel? You are currently in A ring. Here you will find the Great Hall, the Lion's Den, and the archives. Beyond this area is B ring, quarters for the knights, scribes, and elder lions. Outside in the bailey are the training areas and access to the initiates barracks. Other than that, down those steps is the lab. Be careful around there. The scribes are touchy about who goes near their toys. Do you have a medic? You could say that. We have an old robo-doc. He's a bit creepy, but he does the job. You'll find him in B-Ring. I need some supplies. Who would I see about that? Well, any one of us would see Night Captain Durga down in the lab. But since you're an outsider, you'll need permission from Elder Lions. Gotcha. That's all I needed. Certainly. So any thoughts on the Enclave? As if we didn't have enough to worry about. Their weapons are better. Their power armor is better. Is their training better? We'll see. Care to share anything about the super mutants? You know how many uglies I've killed? More than all of Lion's pride combined. That's how many. All it takes is a loaded weapon and the will to use it. Oh, and a good way to get ugly blood out of your armor. Little bit of a Braxo and some water. Works like a charm. <laughs> I have to go now. Of course. This guy seems to like the outcast, but he seems funny. Uh, so Vargas was this way. I'm guessing Colvin is in the B ring. What are you looking at? Are you checking me out? She said she was ready for our next meeting or whatever the fuck. Maybe I should like take my helmet off. Everyone keeps talking about my face. But they can't even see it. Glade. Kodiak. Pancakes. Vargas. What aid can I offer you, outsider? Oh, I have to go now. Steel be with you. Okay. What's the situation? Alice. Dusk. In the Evergreen Mills region. talk to you. Uh, where the hell is fucking? Where are all these people at? Are you, are you making rounds? B ring. Sawbones. The Robo Doc. Please state the nature of the medical emergency. Initiate triage protocol. Medical procedures initiated. Administering treat. Error. Error. Sawbones has damaged you. What? Damage? What? Why does it say it like that? Why did you damage me? You're supposed to be a healing robot. There has been an error in the medical subsystem. Please run a level 2 diagnostic. Run a level 2 diagnostic on the medical subsystems. Command accepted. Beginning level 2 systems diagnostic. Please stand by. That song reminds me of, uh... That Fallout app. Results indicate a level 7 degradation in neural pathway. 0x63a82. No further information available. Those neural pathways zero, t zero, by or x zero x six three a eight two and reroute remaining functions. Neural pathway zero x six three a eight two rerouted through neural pathway zero x three seven four e eight two. Stand by. Full motor functions restored. Diagnostic reveals no critical failures. Asshole. Initiate triage protocol. Medical procedures initiated. Administering treatment. Please stand still. Medical procedure complete. Further instruction. 
Acknowledged. Yes. Acknowledged. I have to go now. Unit deactivating. This troop is hitting the rack. Thanks, Sawbones. Why am I allowed in here? <laughs> I'm, I'm just allowed to get in here. Oh, and unlock a very hard safe that easily. Oh, they're not very. They don't have very many uh medical supplies, and I just took them all. Need something? Oh, I thought you were in the hospital bed. Long live Elder Lions. Okay. I just woke her up and she's like, okay, I guess I'll just wake up. But. Combat armor. That sounds like a child. Here's a child. Hail. Squire Maxon. Hail to you, stranger. I am Squire Maxon, royal servant of steel. It is an honor to make your acquaintance. The honor is all mine, Squire. Oh, well, thank you. Your words are very kind. Kinder than those I usually hear. Is there something I can help you with? What do you make of the Enclave, Squire? You're asking me what I think about the Enclave? Well, the Brotherhood of Steel has actually faced the Enclave before. Back west. More than 30 years ago, according to our chronicles. Judging from those records, I say their soldiers are outfitted in advanced power armor Mark II. It's pretty strong. Better than our power armor. And some of their technology is amazing. Vertibirds. Plasma weapons that can turn a man to goo. Does that help? Yes, you're actually a lot more informative than the people around here. <laughs> I don't suppose you know anything about the super mutants? Oh, yes. I've studied them quite a bit since I've been here. They're not all the same, you know, besides the regular ones. There are also brutes, and after them, the masters. They're really tough. But the worst of all? The behemoth! He's a giant! I saw one once, outside the Citadel walls. So scary. The super mutants are all over the city ruins. But Elder Lions doesn't actually think they're from there, or we would have found their home by now. It kind of seems like they're looking for something, but we're not really sure what that is. Actually, we already know what they're looking They're looking for more people to make into super mutants, but where do they make them in the super mutants is the question. I wonder if it's in, like, the... The glowing sea or something like that. They don't actually make you fight, do they? No. But I could. I know I'm ready. I mean, it would be scary, but it's not fair that I have to sit inside while the knights go on patrol. I did go out one time, you know. Sarah, uh, Sentinel Lions took me out. Just to show me. I killed a super mutant, too. I swear. I... Uh, I also sort of shot oh, Sarah, no. but just a little. It was just a flesh wound. Okay. I would. This kid's pretty cool. He's like not. He like wants to be like them, but he's not like annoying. Like he's actually trying his hardest. He he too. I like him. I have to go now and look at him. He looks sad. I have to go now. Very well. Yes. You'll probably be better than Sarah when you grow up. Scribe Peabody was Night. telling me about those Enclave Night. plasma weapons. You what know, is this? Can turn a man to goo? How the hell what? How do you? That? You guys? Colvin. What aid can I offer you, outsider? Oh, what the heck? I have to go now. Of course. And I can't ask you about nothing. I want to hear how good you are. Why am I allowed to look at this? And then open that. I mean, whatever. Okay. 
Smuggler's End. What? Yeah, I mean, we're allowed to have it, so whatever. <laughs> Smuggler's End. Where's that at? Right there. Elder Lion's Personal Log 2. Okay, so we can't read that one yet because we don't know where 1 is. Partnerships. Headquarters. Transcribing. Infiltration. Civilization. Conversation. Oh, it's probably anticipation or anticipating that it's not. Organization. I don't think it's a shun word then. Spokesperson. Authenticity. Wow. Magnetically? Wow. Squire Maxson's progress report. This is a little kid that we just talked to. Squire Maxson's training is proceeding well, and the boy certainly has an aptitude for small arms. But I often worry about his emotional state. He is child's is a child surrounded my, by killers. He is child surrounded by killers. He is a child surrounded by killers is what it should say. Being groomed to become a killer himself. Maybe I've become too cynical, too soft in my old age. But I wish I could give the boy a normal childhood. Ironic considering his upbringing is so much like my own. Maybe that's what scares me. It's a good thing, though. I mean, at the same time, it's not, but at the same time, it is because it'll become like a successful. But I guess that isn't everything. Sarah's birthday. I must forget Sarah's birthday this year. So is. I wonder if Elder Lines adopted Maxon. I mustn't forget Sarah's birthday this year. Perhaps I'll send. Send Cross to Rivet City to pursue the shops and pick something up. Something pretty. Sarah may have forgotten she's a woman, but I haven't. And neither have the rest of the brothers. Judging by the looks they give her. Safe lock override. Safe unlocked. They have the resources, but do they have the heart? I don't think so. We'll hold true. That's been an hour. I wish I could talk to more people. Are you going to bed? No. Personal terminal. We'll read the terminals, I guess, in the next episode. For right now, I'm trying to talk to everyone. It's not looking like we're fighting anyone else. We still have to talk to out something. Uh, I think Artemis told us to talk about it. Talk to him. Couldn't talk to Colvin. Hello. Hello. Can I talk to you about what the I found? Hell to you. No. You're kind of weird. <laughs> Sorry, I'm grabbing this crate, trying to grab stuff out of it. You're kind of weird. Aren't you a little young to be doing this? I didn't want to say that. 
Tell him. I don't want to shoot down his dreams. The Brotherhood is at your service. Scribe. Brotherhood is at your service. Okay, so let's talk to Gallows again. Hopefully he's still there. Welcome. Are you guys having a meeting? Welcome. Is everyone here? Kriak, Glade, Cross. Hail to you. By the traction of hospitality and on the word of Elder Lions, I welcome you to the Citadel. I am Star Paladin Cross, Keeper of the Arm, and Seneschal to Elder Lions. And I am honored to say I was acquainted with your father. Now what may I do to help you? You knew my father? I did, and you as well. <clears throat> Long ago, I helped guard the water purifier against the super mutant horde. When your father left, I escorted the two of you to Megaton. He was what? a noble man. I was saddened to hear of his passing. But from what I've heard, he died with honor. He died for you. I only pray that my own death has such meaning. Oh my yeah. I loved him so much. I'll never forget him. And so our deeds are carried on through our sons and our daughters. Continue to remember him fondly. Continue to tell his story. And continue to do his work. Through you, he shall carry on. But now I must ask you a difficult question. If I have your leave to do so. By all means, ask. I escorted your father across the wastes. It was the best I could contribute to his efforts to restore fresh water to the people. I would like the honor of escorting you in your journey to complete his work. Oh. I would be honored. Star Pallet and Cross. Then I shall follow your leave and submit to your command. As James's child, I know I don't need to explain, but I am not your servant. If I do not like the path your actions take, I will return here. Now, let us go forward. Crush the Enclave and fulfill your father's mission. Sweet. Gonna like a tank. Oh my God. Ugh. So, what's the latest report? Well, there's been another behemoth sighting. Peabody. In the Evergreen Mills region. The Enclave troops have moved beyond the purifier into the surrounding wasteland region. No Very well. The lead scribe dude. Sounds like the overseer. With your presence here, the elders sent word of your arrival. I am Scribe Peabody. Welcome, etc. Now, I'm really very busy. Is there something you needed? I have some questions about the Brotherhood. You want to talk to Scribe Jameson. She's the archivist, not me. Can you tell me something about the scribes? Indeed I can. Pay no heed to those headstrong knights with their pop guns and bravado. It is the scribes. The scribes who make the Brotherhood what it truly is? The brawn is useless without the brain, hmm? <laughs> Each order of scribes is dedicated to a unique field, all equally important, all more important than those dim-witted grunts. And the orders are? Order of the Sword, Order of the Shield, Order of the Quill, Weapons, Defenses, and Research, respectively. I uh, don't. Let me guess, you belong to the Order of the... Sword, of course. Weapons, my boy. You name it, I've helped someone kill it. I'm the proctor of the Order of the Sword, you see. Weapons research, development and maintenance, all my responsibility. That's all I needed. Very well. So, any thoughts on the Enclave? So they have plasma weapons. Bah! It's strong technology, I'll give you that, but limited in modability. I've already started removing the compensators on our laser weapons to cut through the Black Devil power armor of theirs. We'll drop them like any other meat, don't you worry. Care to share anything about the Super Mutants? Foul, detestable beasts. They're like an infestation. We cut them down and they return again and again. Always so determined to kill or capture. But why? Yeah. 
Until next time. What is it? Bow to chat the guy. Hmm? Oh yes, hello. I've heard about you. We don't get many strangers here in the Citadel, especially those who walk about unescorted. I am Scribe Bowditch. If you require something, simply ask. Tell me more about the outcasts. It's a rather sad story, I'm afraid. Last year, some of our soldiers had grave disagreements with the decisions of Elder Lyons. Disagreements spiraled out of control and there was a schism in the ranks. The loyal soldiers practically threw out the dissenters. Now they call themselves the outcasts. What sort of disagreements did they have? Where Elder Lyons has fought to protect the people of the Capital Wasteland, the outcasts demanded we move on and leave them to their fates. They insisted there was more important technology to be recovered and a scientific base in the ruins of Fort Independence to the west. As callous as their decision may be, it's more in line with our original mission. Elder Lyons is an inspiration to us, but to them, he's a traitor. Who are the exiles? The soldiers rallied behind Paladin Kasdan, who was one of Elder Lyons' original squad. They served together for over 20 years. Kasdan was well respected and every bit as loyal to the Brotherhood as Elder Lyons. He just disagreed with the interpretations of our oaths. But when disagreements turned into fistfights, he left with the outcasts. We lost more allies that day than we ever have to any battle. I don't think this this really applies correctly. If he's ta if we're talking about the outcasts, if you waver in your oaths, you get punished. Didn't Elder Lyons waver in his oaths because he didn't he didn't stick with? I don't know. I'm just gonna say this one. It sounds like it was quite a loss. Is there any way to reconcile with them? Lyons and Kasdan would have to agree to any sort of reconciliation, and that's pretty unlikely. They're both quite proud and stubborn. Me, I just wish there was a way we could all agree that at least we're still on the same side. There are bigger problems out there, after all. What are you doing about them? As much as some of our soldiers would like to see them shot for deserting, there's not much we can do. We're too busy with the super mutants. Meanwhile, they're busy seeking out new technology and trying to get back in contact with the Brotherhood out west. So our paths rarely cross, but it's never pretty when they do. I just hope things cool down before it gets worse. Enough about the outcasts. It is a rather discouraging subject, isn't it? I'm... guessing he's, uh... Order of the Shield. What do you scribes do? Why, a great many things. There are three orders within the scribes, you see, each dedicated to a different field of study. Could you name the orders? Of course. There's the Order of the Sword, Order of the Shield, and Order of the Quill. The Order of the Sword develops and maintains the Brotherhood's weapons. The Order of the Shield does the same for our power armor and defenses. The Order of the Quill is responsible for recovering and preserving knowledge, ancient and otherwise. Seems like the Order of the Quill is the most important thing. Because that's pretty much what the Brotherhood of Steel is about. Is recovering technology. And old literature and stuff. But like, really... The shield and Sword. If they didn't have that, they wouldn't be where they are now. Which order do you serve, Squire Bowditch? I am Proctor of the Order of the Shield. I oversee the others in my order and make sure our defenses are up to snuff. Do you know how long it took to fortify these ruins? From the husk of the Pentagon, I carved a grand citadel. No easy task, my friend. Ah, but that was yesterday, when all we had to worry about was those damn super mutants. The Enclave, now, that's a different problem altogether. That's all I needed. Let me know if you need something else. Any thoughts on the Enclave? 
They're sporting some pretty impressive power armor, I'll give them that. The advanced Mark II. But that's all right. With a few modifications, our own armor will more than handle anything they throw at it. Care to share anything about the Supermans? They're relentless, like nothing I've ever seen before. I honestly think they see our brothers in power armor as some kind of canned meal. <laughs> some of the pieces we've had brought back, men and women ripped in half, some pulled through their armor. Just horrible. Jeez. Can you tell me more about the Brotherhood of Steel? Oh, yes, I can. In fact, I suspect I could write several texts on the various details of the Brotherhood. But I suspect you're in a hurry. So what particulars would you like to know? What are the central beliefs of the Brotherhood? I'm afraid the answer to that is a lot more nuanced than others might suggest. Brotherhood members are sworn to acquire and protect technology of the past, but not everyone interprets these oaths in the same way. Elder Lyons sees these duties as part of a larger dedication to protect the innocent. Some, like the outcasts, disagree with these priorities. What have you been? What have been the highlights of your time with the Brotherhood? I like to think that I've still got some big achievements left in me, although some of my joints seem to disagree these days. Same. I'll tell you what the lowlights of my time have been, though. Every time I've been shot at. I'm a scribe, not a soldier. I say same like I'm like old. I'm not. What's the biggest challenge the Brotherhood has ever faced? It seems like whichever challenge we're facing is always the biggest one. Survival at first, then expansion, and now cohesion. We've seen plenty of wasteland freaks or would-be dictators. They're not too bad. At least we've faced that sort of thing before. But more recent events, like the schism with the outcasts, those are the problems that worry me. That's enough for now. Okay. Anything else? I have to go now. Back to work. Okay, let's talk to Gallus again. What? So, what's your real name? What's the pool up to now, anyway? Nice try, though. Come on. It will, it will really throw these guys for a loop if you tell me. Fine. I'm tired of this game. Irving. My name's Irving. There. Go collect your money. Maybe now they'll leave me alone about it. I have to go now. And so we part. I, I want to talk to you first. Still alive, I see. You're doing better than most wasters that end up in the city. What do you think about Gallus? I don't trust him. I'm okay. Do you, think? you don't care, apparently. How can I help, friend? <laughs> what? Strength and steel. Can't tell anyone. Got a second? What can I do for you, kid? I know Gallus' is real name. Really? You're kidding me. What is it? You never did tell me what I'd win. <laughs> Good point. The pool is up to about one thousand caps these days. Now come on, come on. What's his name? It's Irving. <laughs> Irving, are you serious? Oh man, wait until the other guys hear this. Irving! Here's the pool. You earned it. <laughs> what the heck? I have to go now. Of course. Yes? What's your tactical the assessment? The Brotherhood is near your service. Situation. Have you seen that Enclave power armor? That's the advanced Mark II. I don't know if a standard round could even penetrate that stuff. So what's the latest? <sighs> Guess I need to talk Unclave to Scribe Jameson. Make sure all my, you know, personal information is up to date. For the scrolls, I mean. Listen, let's talk about this Thanks. more later, okay? I have a decent tactical plan I can run by you. All right. What was the result of the, the Brotherhood is at your service. Okay, so... In the next episode... Well, first, before we get off, I want to check off uh, Gallows Humor. That is a small quest. 
Oh, and collecting hollow tags. We got that one too. So, gallows humor. So, oh shit, we're done to every single quest besides the last bit of the uh, main quest, trouble on the home front, and uh, broken steel. And the only thing that we have to do really is get energy weapons, Bobblehead. The last rocket launcher schematic, the last death claw gauntlet schematic. And that should be it for the things. Well, no, I, I guess we, we still need Ant Sting, Fox Super Sledge, Jack, Slasher Knife, Callahan's Magnum, Miss Launcher, Precision Gatling Laser. Rapid Torch Flamer, Slow Burn Flamer, Colonel Autumn's Laser Pistol, and Protectron's Gaze. And then, if you don't count all of the uh, uh, skill books either, that's all we have left. Whoa. Right there's all the skill books that we need, all the unchecked ones. But I, I don't really, I'm not worried about that. I'm not really worried about the schematics either. Because the Deathclaw Gauntlet 1 is kind of rare. So, Trouble on the home front, Broken Steel, and the main quest line is pretty much all we got. So, it's been like an hour and like 21, 22 minutes maybe. Artemis is staring me down. <gasps> but anyway, thank you for watching. Hopefully I see you in the next episode.